Yeah, fellas, let's go over here and put it down right over here. Hey, Mom, here's those shoe samples you want to see. Oh, thank you, honey. Steal my sister's husband, huh? See, someone's very excited. Must be true what they say about girls and their shoes, huh? They're the prototypes for our new line. Excuse me, Mrs. Forrester? It's for you, the executive floor. Oh, thank you. Hello? Think you can just splinter your way back into Eric's life? No way. Today, you die. How is your boy doing? What the hell are you doing here? I'm here because I'm concerned about your son. I don't like how you are. You don't give a damn about him. Well, well I feel terrible about what happened. Look, I want you out of this hospital now. I don't want you anywhere near him. Well, I'm not going to leave, Donna. The accident, the incident, happened at our company, and I want to know how serious the situation is. You're not leaving here until you promise me you and your sister stay the hell away from Marcus. Marcus, what are you talking don't, don't, about? Don't you play dumb with me. I will call the police if you even get near him. The police? How did the snake get in the crate? How would I know? How how would you know? You, you arranged it. What? That's how you would know. You're blaming me. You're... Yes, you. You and your crazy sister. Only it wasn't meant for Marcus, was it? It was meant for me. Wait a minute. You actually think yeah. that I... Yeah, you and your crazy sister. Look, we all know that she has mental issues and she is off her medication. But you know what I think? I think that you snapped too. So, yes, I do blame you and your sister. You're not going to get away with it, Stephanie. Strange things happen. Accidents happen. And, and this was just one of those crazy accidents. No. You couldn't stand the thought that Eric and I might end up together. And we will. So you did the only thing that you know how to do. Something hateful and disgusting. You tried to kill me. Only I, I'm still here. I'm still alive. And, and Eric still loves me. And you're, you're going to have to accept that. Well, I don't accept that, Donna. And I never will. You came after me today. And now my son is in a, in a hospital bed fighting for his life. I could have lost him. You, you don't care. You... You don't care. That's how callous you are. That's how callous you are. You, you tried to kill me, Stephanie. With a snake. Donna, listen to what you're saying. Please, I am not. I am not responsible for this. And I honestly, I do not believe that my sister is either. I don't. Okay. Okay, Stephanie, maybe you didn't do it, but I, I'm certain that Pam did. Look, she would have let that bear... Eat me alive. It wasn't a game. It was for real. Look, I, I know that you, you don't want to hear this, but I'm telling you the truth. Just please. 
Please tell me, have you, have you heard from her? Have you, have you called? No, no, you, no. I don't have any idea where she is. She has not called me. Donna, she's frightened. She's hiding. Yeah. Yeah, she's lying in the wait, just waiting, waiting for a chance to get me. No, no, no. You, look, she's, she's ill, I know that. But she's not a psychotic killer. Stephanie, don't you see this? This is not the sister that you grew up with. This is a woman who wants me away from Eric and will stop at nothing to get it. That snake was meant for me. For me. Stephanie, I'm, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, please just, just help me. Help me, help me find Pam before she comes after me again.